integrate 1 minus the tangent squared of x all divided by the secant squared of x. So solution. So it doesn't seem like we can do anything immediately in terms of a substitution. So maybe we can try to use uh, an identity. So there is an identity that relates tangent squared and secant squared. 1 plus tangent squared x is equal to secant squared x. And so maybe we can solve this for tangent squared. So let's try it. So minus 1, minus 1. So this means tangent squared x is equal to uh, secant squared x minus 1. So let's try to rewrite what we have and see what happens. So we have 1 minus, and then parentheses, secant squared x minus 1. And that's all being divided by secant squared x dx. Okay, so now uh, we can distribute here. There's a negative 1. We can distribute that. So let's see. So it'll be 1 minus secant squared x, and then plus 1 all over secant squared x dx. Let's keep going, see if we can rewrite this and uh, hopefully work it out. So this is equal to the integral. So 1 plus 1 is 2, so we'll do that. So 2 minus secant squared x over secant squared x dx. All right, so I'm thinking now we can break it up. Let's just keep going. That's the, pretty much the only thing we can do. So this is equal to so 2 over secant squared. So 2 over secant squared x dx. Let's break it up into two integrals minus, and then secant squared x over secant squared x dx. Yeah, this is starting to come together. Very, very good. So uh, 2 over secant squared, um, you can think of it as 2 times 1 over secant, uh, over secant squared. And that's uh, 2 cosine squared, right? 2 cosine squared. Because um, 1 over secant is equal to cosine. So this is equal to um, 2 cosine squared x dx minus and then simply dx. All right, to integrate cosine squared, there is an identity we can use, right? So cosine squared x is equal to 1 plus cosine 2x all divided by 2. So that's how you integrate cosine squared is you, you use this identity. There's already a 2 here, which is really cool. So it destroys the other 2 because um, they cancel. So you just get 1 plus cosine 2x, parentheses, parentheses, dx minus dx. All right, good stuff. Uh, let's break it up. So we have the integral of dx uh, plus, uh, then here we have the integral of cosine 2x dx minus the integral of dx. That's cool. They're both going to give you x plus a constant, so it doesn't really matter. So we just have cosine 2x dx. And to integrate this, um, you can do it in your head, or you can make a u sub. Let's go ahead and make the u sub. I mean, we have time. There's no rush. So let's let u be equal to 2x. So du is 2dx. And you'll notice there's, um, there's no 2 in the integrand, so we divide both sides by 2. So we have 1 half du equals dx. All right, so we just replace dx with 1 half du, so we get 1 half cosine u du. And when you're integrating cosine, you just ask yourself, what's a function whose derivative is cosine? Well, sine, right? So this is 1 half sine of uh, u, but u is 2x plus our constant of integration c. Wow, so that huge mess at the beginning <laughs> became um, this. So I hope this uh, video has been helpful to someone out there in the world. That's it.